Okay, so next instalment to getting this wing to fit half about is sorting out this area down here now. now I think a lot of this is going to be sorted with a bit of hammer and dolly work just to get the flanges pointing in the right directions and this here I think will simply push push around so I don't think there's going to be at this stage anyway, I don't think there'll be a lot of cutting and welding to mess around with. So we'll just see, I don't think this is going to be a, as much work as it looks. But famous last words, <laughs> I might be regretting this now. So I think the first thing we need to do is flatten out all these pucks here to get that so it's a nice flat face to fit on at least. Right, so I've brought that round further around that way so as it holds up against the other panel it'll be should be tighter now whereas before because it was tipping out like that it was a gap like that so we try this back on the car now and see how we're looking right before I poke it back on the car you can see how much this is tipping out here as well so this needs dolly in back to make that flat as well so we'll do that next Okay, see just a little bit of uh, hammer and dolly just to get those flanges flat. Already see massive improvement on that line. So the next bit is, is getting this to look right here. So what I think I'll do, rather than trying to bring front of the wing down to meet that, oh, I was going to bring that up to meet the wing, but saying that, that's going to mess up that line along there. So this wing's going to have to come down. <laughs> Having said that, when I put a bubble arch on this, that's going to come quite a lot over here anyway, I believe. So it might be worth leaving that until I do the bubble arches. Otherwise I might be doing work here just for the sake of doing work. So the only thing I think might be worth messing around with is just this edge here to get this nicer to, to come in and join up with that uh, I think I'll do this a similar way to what I did up here with the to join up the bonnet line so I think I'll uh, take a, a slit around this now and along there and bring all this around to tidy this up okay so my intention is to slit on this corner here all the way through and see if we can bring that back down in a similar way to what we did up there. So let's have a go. So let's see if that will give us a bit of movement on that. Does, but I think I have to slit it further up to get it to blend better. Yes, I think that's pointing in the right direction there now. Okay, back on the car and try again. see how that's flowing better to there now because just in there that's pushing up against there which is making things a little bit awkward so I hope we can get into there now mm. maybe and maybe not okay wing back off again then Just 
to relieve that bit there. I think that'll do us. Try again. All right, to get my clamps back in there to get that in the right place. Okie dokie. Right, so yeah, that's flowing better under there now. Give that a tap down. nicer there now we've got the, the flow to it so happy days we'll tack that in place now Right, now we can grind that up and we can tidy up this face here so it'll have a nice sweet line across there. When I come to welding it all together I'll probably put a, a bead in there as well as spot these so, so it will tidy it all in together. into there I think right let's give that another grind it up I'll pull the wing off now so I can get to that last bit there to tidy that up and uh, we're looking successful. By the time that comes up to tight against there we're looking not far off there, maybe a little bit more off that.
Yeah, with just a little bit of fettling. How much better that looks there now. It all flows in nicely to the body lines. And like I said, along in there, I'll probably put a bead of weld in there anyway. I think that's how they're done in factory, if I remember rightly from my last one. Otherwise you get um, guns you dribble out there when you drive in the wet. Like I said, down here, I'll worry about this section when they come to put the bubble arch on. So, happy days. Another bit ticked off the list. Now the next video I might do is water rail for the Z-Tech conversion. I've had somebody ask about when am I going to do that video, so maybe I'll do that one next. So, I've ordered some bits and bobs I need for that, so once they come in the post, then uh, we'll do that next.